Hey guys, welcome back to Samata on Base. Hope you guys are doing really, really well. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about a product that I really, really like, and that is mono cases. Um, I've been using them for a couple of years now. I recently uh, got a new one, uh, which is called the Base Sleeve, a sort of lighter version of the Vertigo, which I usually use. I find that they protect your instrument very, very well, and I thought I'd share that with you today. Okay, so this is the mono base sleeve, and uh, it's a lighter weight version of their very, very popular Vertigo series, which uh, allows you to slip the base in and out easily. Uh, this is a lot thinner than than the Vertigo. However, the foam padding is quite thick. Um, it's not too soft. It's soft enough on the inside for your instrument, but it gives it a, a very good degree of protection. Um, and if you're like me, and you're living the dream, which is still a dream, of having roadies and all that, and you love your own gear like I do, then this sort of thing is fine because it's something you can put in the back seat of the car or in the boot or the trunk if you're in America. Um, and it'll protect your instrument well enough for that sort of thing from, from all the knocks and bumps of everyday life. Now, we'll go through this one first. This has got an absolutely massive front pocket. Um, there's a little sort of hook clip here, which is easy to undo that front flap folds out and I guess that that's sort of slightly padded and offers a bit of protection for everything that's in here uh, which is great because I usually throw in my iPad which has all my charts on it uh, right here and that will give it that little bit of extra protection there's a nice big zipper on the side you can fit your cables uh, decent size stand will fit in this one which is really really cool and also inside there is a separate pocket with its own zipper and that's a couple of inches deep so you can put things in there like your tuner i throw a camera in there because we tend to take some pictures and stuff um, and just zip it up so they won't move around sometimes i'll, I'll stick in a a truss rod wrench if I think I'm going to need one or stuff like that, although I carry that in a separate bag with all my tools. But it's, uh, it's a rather large pocket that, um, that will fit a lot of stuff. Now, the beautiful thing about mono cases and why I really, really like them is their stitching is very, very good, very neat. There's a uh, you can't see it here. I'll show you how we undo the zips like that. And this front part just falls forward and you can just pull your base out like that. Now in here, they've got this patented system called the headlock, which supports the, uh, the neck of the base so that it doesn't move side to side. There's a nice bit of uh, very thick vinyl here to protect the case from the tuning pegs. And in here, it's got the same thing uh, around this area of the base where the bridge and the pickups are. So the case stays in good condition. I'll just put this base over here. The other thing that you immediately notice about these, and I can't put the camera in there, but at the bottom of the case, there's two rather thick bits of foam that go around the edges and down almost to the center. And that's really important because where your strap pin is, it would fall just into that little, that little gap. And there's still foam padding under it, but it stops the strap pin from hitting the ground when you put the case down a little heavy, heavy handedly. So that is a good thing. And the material on this is some sort of very heavy duty nylon. 
you can get these in black. I thought the ash color looked rather nice, so I bought that one in this case. And this version uh, in Australia goes for about $189, which is good value for what it is. The lining is quite thick all the way down. It has these features that, like the uh, the headlock, which which holds the neck in place so the base doesn't move around, and all in all does a fantastic job of protecting your base. Now moving up in the price range, we have the Mono Vertigo, which uh, is a heavy duty version of the base sleeve I just showed you, and. This has the same sort of uh, system. It's, it's, I guess that's why it's called the Vertigo because the base goes in there vertically and there's no need for you to put the case on the ground to open it. You just prop it up against the wall, open the front, take the base out and you're pretty much ready to go. And this has an even better system of holding the neck it's got this foam bit at the back and then it's got this bit at the front which sits over over the top of it and it, it holds your base in place same deal it's got a nice thick um, bit of material here and in the front here and the difference with this one is the sides are quite thick so it's almost like a half hard case in this case. The foam is pretty much the same, it's quite thick and robust and uh, the same at the bottom, it has that bit of foam and it has that gap for your, your strap pin. So again when you put it down the strap pin doesn't hit the ground, it, uh, it's suspended. This one goes a little bit further and it's got this, whoops, <laughs> this massive rubber boot on the bottom um, and this is really a really good feature because that is very robust now as I mentioned with the other one the stitching on these is really really nice the zippers are heavy duty zippers the handles are riveted and stitched on so they're never going to come off it's got a beautiful uh, couple of straps on the back so you can you can strap it on your back and it's got a little safety belt so it's not going to come off um, once you've got it on even if you're running I don't recommend you do that with a base strap to your back but hey you know everybody's different so it's all it's all built uh, extremely nicely it all works very very well this one I've had on the road for a couple of years now uh, it still looks new to be honest it's uh, survived very very well this pocket on the front is slightly different it's got a couple of zippers again you can fit your stands in there it's got a pocket up here with its own zipper so you can put in all manner of other things like your tuna that you don't want rolling around the bottom and that other stand will also fit in here all that's easier to fit in in the uh, sleeve now this particular one has these mounting points here and there's a little case that you can get called the tick which actually hooks onto these and that will allow you to carry things like your pedal board spare strings anything else you want to put in there uh, and it's quite a fairly large size it's sort of from there to there and about that wide and about so deep so it's a, it's a good add-on feature these ones retail at about 320 I think here in Australia so uh, very worthwhile and I think cheap protection for your instrument if you're doing the lugging yourself uh, I wouldn't throw these in the back of the truck with you know the, the three-way PA and the racks and everything else but I do put this in, in the back of the car with you know a small amplifier or on the back seat if I'm carrying something bigger in the back and it protects the instruments very very well so I'm not about um, recommending 
uh, products or anything like that. I mean, I get nothing from uh, Mono. There's no affiliation there. It's just that I will talk about products that I particularly like and I think have been executed very, very well. Even these straps, are they comfortable to wear? You know, even sometimes I have to walk, you know, maybe five, six, seven hundred meters to where I'm going um, from the car. They're, they're comfortable. They don't, they don't hurt your shoulders. So, and this is big enough to, to obviously fit a Fender Jazz or precision size base, but it also fits my uh, MTD six string, which is 35 inch scale. It's got a big headstock, and that will also fit in these cases. So it's uh it's good news all around with these so anyway jump onto their website and check them out i highly recommend them i think they're a very very good and robust product and one of these will last you a very long time and it will protect your instrument so until next time keep well keep playing bass keep making music and take care of yourself see you soon